Today, we will learn more about the witch character in Alone in the Dark Elimination. Celeste the witch has come to the town in search of answers. She was part of a coven, but one that served good, maintaining the balance of light over dark. The coven had already sent a group to Lorewitch. The problem is, they never came back. The last signal they received was a psychic SOS of sorts. Unfortunately, this transmission was weakened for the message had sourced from deep in the mine. The witch has a strong arsenal in the form of magic. As you progress through the skill tree, you will become much more powerful. Let us take a look at the different options in the witch skill tree. Creature control duration will increase the amount of time a creature is friendly, and at greater levels allows the ability to be used on ghouls and demons. The burning glow duration increases the amount of time that a light's intensity will last. The lightning strike, bounce, and base damage increases the number of enemies that lightning will travel across, and increases the amount of damage inflicted on each bounce. The draining curse extra bounce default is set for one bounce, meaning that the curse can spread to only one additional creature. With each level increase, additional creatures will be affected. Lastly, the lightning crawler duration and damage increases the travel time of the lightning crawler and increases the damage caused by it. With each of these powers, the witch becomes more powerful as her lightning spells can harm enemies even in darkness. But she is limited by her mana pool, which you must carefully manage or be overwhelmed by monsters in a weak moment. Her lightning crawler takes time to cast, but with friendly heroes covering the witch, the crawler can clear a whole line of monsters. Using Burning Glow in combination with the engineer's repair ability allows your team to get the most out of each light source. And when darkness falls, count on her spells to fend off monsters until you locate the next light source.